Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Interesting Quartz Crystallography. Anyhow, <sighs> looking under the limelight and um, I'm getting lost here in some interesting quartz. Let's talk about a habit that we haven't talked about. It's actually a crystal form, not a habit. Um, and it's called Cumberland. As most of you know, this is a doubly terminated quartz. We've got one termination here, and we've got one termination here. Well, a couple in there, actually. <laughs> Anyhow, in most every case, quartz has this kind of flatter hexagonal section. We know these as the C facies. Well, in the Cumberland habit, we don't really have that, or if we do have that, it's so minute here that the majority of the crystal is actually the terminations. And when you look at this thing, you go, well, what in the heck is going on here? It just, it doesn't make any sense. And it is a very interesting quartz. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here, give you guys a good view. Here's a termination here. We have a little bit of a C facies at my fingertip here. We have just a wee bit here. And just a wee bit right there. But the majority goes right into another facie. And it kind of forms this unique bladed look with a kind of another termination type thing going on here. So this would be considerably a Cumberland and probably something else that is quite rare. But for now we're going to leave it at Cumberland. This one is a little bit larger and as you can see represents the same kind of formation. We've got multiple growth facies here that are going to take up uh, the R and Z facies and down in here we have just a minor C right there at my fingertip and right there we have a minor C facie and on this side we have a minor C facie but everywhere else you can see go straight into a termination and you can also see a little bit of corrosion and a little bit of growth interruption in this um, which gives it that beautifully interesting hey look at this almost looks like somebody's pointing a finger at you he's pointing over here here's his hand and there's the little finger point now eh, how weird and over here um, when you look at it you can see the majority of the termination um, are pointed up this kind of climbing up this um, facey now it is my opinion that this quartz was likely a terminated quartz and maybe even a scepter and it regrew all of these but um, that's really hard to say at this point but this is a beautiful example of a Cumberland quartz I'll just turn it around a little bit so you can see and then we'll flip it over and then we'll make it so you can see that side So there they are. There's a regular DT quartz. This little camera in there. 